Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve merge two sorted list coding problem. So merge two sorted link list and return it as a new list. The new list should be made by splicing together the nodes of first two lists. So for example, the input would be two sorted link lists, one, two, four, one, three, four, and they are sorted in ascending order. So output would be still a new link list sorted in ascending order. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So all the nodes of the new link list is coming from the first two link lists. So this is a basic coding problem about the link list. So here I'm going to show you the step to solve it. So we have two sorted link lists, L1 and L2. So 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 5. They are sorted in ascending order, and our goal is to build a new link list. Let's call it at L3, and L3 will take all the list nodes of L1 and L2 and sort it in ascending order. So here, remember that link list is a linear data structure, and each list node would be structured like this. So it contains an integer value, and also it points to the next list node. So the L1 and L2, they both started at the head of a link list. So one is pointing to the next node, and this one, L2, is also pointing to the next list node of L2. So here, we can start to build the L3 head node. So L3 head node will just be built by comparing the head of L1 and L2. If the one is a smaller value, we will take that list node. So L1 and L2 at the beginning both equal to 1. So we will take L1. So that would be 1. And we are going to move the L1 since we take it. So we will move L1 to the next list row. And then we will compare the current L1 and the current L2. So current L2 is one less than the current L1. So we will take the current L2. So move the L2 to the next. So L1, 2, L2 is 3. So we will take the L1, that's 2, and the movie to the next. So, so current L2 is 3, current L1 is 4. So we will take the current L2, that's 3. So, and move the L2 to the next. So compare the current L1 and the L2. They are both equal to 4. So we take the L1. So that would be 4. We add this list row to the new L3. So move the L1 to next place. So L1 here would reach to the now. So there's no more list row in the L1. So here we can directly take the remaining list row of L2 to add to the L3. So we'll take the 4 and the 5 to add to the L3. So this is our final output of L3. So it's pretty straightforward approach by comparing the two link list though each value and move it to the next if the one is smaller. So before we go back to the coding, so I will introduce a concept called a domino. So domino is a very helpful mm, approach to do the link, link list coding problem. So domino, you can start with any value that's like a zero. And uh, it will going to start to use to build the head of an L3. So at the beginning, we have a domino. And the next is point to the actual starting point of L3. Because when we are um, doing a coding, we are returning the, at the final output, we are going to return the head of the L3. So use the domino, 
we can quickly find the the actual starting head of L3. We can just call domain.legs to get the actual head of L3. So it's a very useful approach to do the linked list problem. So here I'm going to show you how to code in Java to solve this problem. So as we just mentioned, so we are going to have a domino. So domino, you can start with a any value. Let's start with a zero. And uh, we are going to have a L3. So it will be our goal to build a new link next that's uh, called it as a L3. So L3 at the beginning just a reference to the same objects of the domino kind of point to. So we are going to have a while loop here. So while L1 and L2 are both not equals to now. So they still have the remaining list node. So we can do the comparison. So we can compare the value of a current L1 and a current L2. So if the current L1 is less or equal to the current L2 value, so we will take the, the current L1 as the next node of L3. So L3 dot next would be the L1, current L1. And uh, we are going to move the L1 to the next node. Otherwise, we are going to do, that's a, L2 has a smaller value. So we will take the current L2 as the next next node of L3. So we will be L3 dot next would be L2. And we are going to move the L2 to the next node after we add the current L2 to the current L3. And uh, then we are going to move our L3 to the next. Since we already add a new list node to L3, so we are going to move the L3 to the next. So we are going to also move the L3. And uh, when this um, condition is not matching, so that means that uh, as either L1 has no more uh, list low or L2 have no more list low, so we can terminate this while loop and check if uh, at that this point, like when we have um, only L2 have a remaining nodes or L1 have a remaining nodes, we can directly take the remaining list load to the new list load. So if L1 is not equal to null, L1 still have a remaining load, so our L3 dot next would be L1. Or if L2 not con still contains a remaining list load, but L1 doesn't have uh, any remaining load, so we can di directly take the all the remaining list load of L2 to the L3. And uh, at the final, we can directly return the domain.lex. Remember, domain is a, at the beginning, L3 start point at the domain node point two, and we move the L3 keep forward. But domain still point to the domain, and domain.next is the first actual node of L3. So we return the domain.next would find the L3 head. So here, let's click submit button. Okay, accepted. So very cool, we solve this coding problem. So this is a good taker. Thank you for your watching. So I hope you after watch this video, you know some useful approaches to solve the link list problem. Just make practice and you will do better and better. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscription. This is a good taker. See you next time.